A lot of people are voting. Over 60 million have voted early. And Harris has a clear goal. We touched earlier in the broadcast night about the gender gap, which could power her in a huge way. There's also diversity. If she can rebuild the Obama coalition, she should win. A big part of that is specifically black men, something we've heard about a lot and sometimes in misleading ways. I'll get to that. But here's how Harris has been campaigning. My policies include what I know is going to have a, a, a profound impact on black folks around economic policy. Recruit and retain yeah, that's what's more retention black men well, yeah. as teachers, mm -hmm. because we know the benefit. We can build a brighter future by lifting each other up. And the reason some people think, well, I don't know, I remember that economy when he first came in being pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty good. Because it was my economy. When he was a, a landlord, he denied rent to black families. We got to turn this mother out. Donald Trump sent me a check during the pandemic. First of all, Congress sent you a check. It's about decency, America, and I think you agree with me. Part of what we have to help people understand is don't think you're in Donald Trump's club. You're not. And she said that on Club Shay Shay. Now, if you have watched our coverage, you may have seen some of the fact-checking we've done of one of those political narratives that was out there for various reasons about whether black men are supporting Harris enough. Is that a weak point? In fact, we'll just show you the numbers and you can see the reality. When you look at the male vote, you have 36 percent of white men roughly supporting Harris. When you go to Latinos, it's just over split to about 53 percent. And then the gender gap completely crumbles with one group of men, black men who actually overwhelmingly back Harris at 72 percent, just as they did Hillary Clinton when gender and race was the issue, but race was not. Now, the Daily Beast has argued black men have already potentially helped win this election. Quote, black men and black voters have become the demographic to be proactively courted. So we want to dig into this with the facts and some special guests. Ricky Smiley hosts the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Uh, that yeah. is where he's interviewed everyone from Barack and Michelle, as you see there, to Snoop Dogg. His book is Sideshow, Living with Loss, and Moving Forward with Faith. And then returning to the broadcast, our friend Kevin Lyles, uh, former chairman and CEO of 300, once ran Def Jam, a hip-hop icon in his own right, if you know, you know. Uh, and he has been working with the Harris campaign on these very issues. Uh, welcome to both of you, Ricky. I'll go to you first. Uh, your thoughts on all the above. I showed the numbers. Uh, it looks like both for Hillary Clinton and Kamala Harris, black men, have been stepping up. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I, uh, first of all, good good to see both of you. Kevin, you know I love you. Uh, Ari, thank you for having me. Yes, sir. Uh, it, it's really good. I started getting phone calls from Roland Martin uh, when they started doing the Black Man for Harris, uh, you know, just to be a part of that. And that was, that was it, it felt like the foundation of them just trying to build up support for Harris because, you know, this country is just as sexist as it is, uh, you know, some of the other issues that the country have. And, uh, you know, I don't have a, a, a problem seeing a woman in power as long as her policies align with, uh, you know, with what I, you know, with that, what I have going on and my family and my people. And uh, we know what it was like under, under, under Donald Trump because he was president for four years. So, um, you know, I was all in from day one, but I don't understand what's what's been the issue from other black men and what's been taking so long to get black men to come around. Because at the end of the day, your mother's a black woman, your sister's a black woman, and our mother had to lead us to where we are now. If it wasn't for our mother, uh, Kevin, you know this, uh, we wouldn't be where we are. Amen. So it was not an issue. Now, Ricky, I didn't, was, Ricky, I didn't know you were going to come on live TV and talk about Kevin's mom. <laughs> He can do that. He gets it fast. But you're doing it positively, I guess. Uh, let me thank you. Let me bring it to Kevin. Uh, you've been on this program many times. Uh, you are one of those people who has many things. You're a polymath. You, we could say, oh, you're an entrepreneur. Oh, you're a business guy. Oh, you're a culture guy. Uh, you're also a political guy working with Harris. What do you see in this conversation in politics that's missed out on some of what's really going on in, quote, unquote, black America and all of America? Well, I, I, first off, great to see you, Ari. Great to see you. Uh, it's, uh, to me, this, you see the numbers. But, but I have to tell you, I was in Philly, and um, Rodney Pete, uh, Bakari, um, we had a, one of the football players from the Eagles, a um, couple of us having a real conversation at a black-owned restaurant. First question, Bakari said, how many of you uh, guys are voting for uh, Trump? <laughs> no hands raised. 
it's a myth. What they're doing is trying mm. to confuse everybody. Mm. They're, they're trying to divide us. Uh, the second thing is, uh, I'm, the P I'm pushing right now mm. is about this policy. So her policy, I'm a serial entrepreneur. You know this. You know, I've I do. paid hundreds of multimillionaires over the years. And now these multimillionaires are now making other millionaires. And now she's saying, you know what? I want to fuel that by giving you guys $20,000. I want to, I'm going to move along. I want to fuel that by empowering you guys to be stronger and better. That's the, that's the policy P I have to be with her. And then I have to tell you that the other P I'm pushing that it's personal. So it's personal because I have a son who saw his first black superhero, and it wasn't Black Panther, it was Barack Obama. Huh. I have three daughters, Gigi, VB, and Kayla, who get to say, Dad, we have a black female president. And I have a grandmother that died, and before she died, she got to say to me, Kevin, can you believe there's a black man in the White House? Hmm. These are all things that are personal to me and why I support Kamala and why I go out on the road and get in Atlanta with Spike and Samuel Jackson and D-Nice and all my guys. Makes a lot of sense. Well, Ricky, were you listening? Kevin put that, I thought, really in an interesting way. He also Beautiful. got the push and pee in there, which is a reference to his own artist, Gunna. So he's got he's doing more than one thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Kevin, you're absolutely right. Uh, to, to see Kamala Harris become president of the United States, it would be something historical in our time. Whoever would have thought that we would have had an opportunity uh, to see our first uh, black president with Barack Obama and then possibly, um, you know, the first black woman president, a uh, member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, probably would be read in by a member of Delta Sigma Theta, uh, uh, with, with uh, Judge uh, Katanji and on Dr. Martin Luther King's day, uh, uh, birthday, which is which is a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, so the Divine Nine. Everybody, I can I can I definitely feel like I can speak for everybody in the Divine Nine. Uh, we are fired up and ready to go. And Ricky, uh, I got about thirty more seconds for you, and I got another question for Kevin. But. Uh, out in radio, out in alternative media, um, what do you think is important or being discussed that we might be missing in traditional media? Yeah, uh, we, 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 we was having conversations this morning about the United States Supreme Court, even with the issue in uh, Virginia when they're uh, taking people off of the voting rolls and how the Supreme Court, and that's why we have to win really, really big because if this thing comes down to the wire and they start filing cases, uh, uh, you know, start filing uh, to the United States Supreme Court. You know, uh, Trump has the Supreme Court stacked. And uh, we're looking at another situation with, uh, like, 2000 Bush versus Gore, hmm. where the United States Supreme Court, if we don't win big, could decide who becomes the president of the United States. They're getting their food.
não precisa de tigre, isso por mais. Change food today, crazy, they're my time.